tuning in to Los Hermanos Network right now. I'm still in Shibuya, Tokyo, getting ready to head to uh, Dish Union Tower Records in Juku to check out the release of Los Hermanos. I got some people waiting for me there, but you know, we're just working hard in Japan, you know what I mean? So, uh, it's your boy G Mitchell, be right back with you. The underground. Some advice for somebody that's coming up doing music. Well, what not to do? Don't. Uh, well, what, what you shouldn't do one thing. Don't listen to me. You know, because if you listen to me, you end up like me, and you want to be yourself, right? That's that's why my best advice is don't take my advice. Nah, don't take my advice because it will mislead you. You know. <laughs> 
so what is next for you coming up? What is the next thing that you're doing coming up? What do, can we look forward to you coming up? Okay, like new music. New music. We always work on new music. These days, what I found, you know, I have a new technique now. And it kind of like reflects what I started off with. Back in the days, you would look for like one or two good records. These days, I find there's a lot of records with like two bars that I like, or another two bars that I like, and I make edits of everything. But really, I just take the two bars that I like from a cheesy record and make it into something nice. And that's for me, kind of reflecting of where I really came from in the very beginning, you know? These days it's all about like, uh, there's so much cheesy shit out. You know, even in the worst cheese, you find something good, you know? And a DJ is somebody, I think, not somebody who can play a good record, but somebody who makes a record sound good at the moment he plays it, you know? That's the art of DJing. So a bad DJ is somebody who plays great music so everybody hates it. A great DJ is somebody who can take whatever music and make it sound great. Yes. You know? Вы слушаете радио Сибирь. Dark Street. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Dark Street and Dark Street by the same time, you know? Because I got a lot of dogs barking, you know, like from all over the place. From Kanye West to Iggy Pop. From Burnett Summers of New Order to, um, 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 um Little Wayne. Right. You know, so it's all happening and we try to make it sound like as one big story, you know? Told by different people. They don't want to turn these speakers up. They claim I ain't deep enough. All that talking I feed off of. Keep it up. Relaxing my feet is up. I'm leaving you haters like when Shaq left the Lakers just to heat it up. What's up? This your man G Mitchell, Los Amanos Network, and right now we got Mr. DJ Hell. This guy's legendary in techno and deep house. He has worked for Hard Wax. And I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. What's up, Mr. DJ Hell? Hey, how are you? What's up? What's up? Uh, can you give us a little rundown about your history and your career? Woo. Yeah, we, we did this radio interview today, and they asked me when I was starting, you know, and uh, buying my first records and how I get into the music business and stuff. Very influenced by you. Uh, Detroit and Chicago producers, and uh, I think. House and techno music was originally out of the black community. Absolutely. I did for a soul compilation and it reminds me on that, you know, this is uh, truly black music and it comes out of funk, soul, disco and all this kind of genre. So I uh, I realized it again and when it comes up when this music comes over to the white kids, me and other guys in Europe. We try to uh, understand how you did it, you know, and how how you produce this kind of music. And we didn't know about Roland drum machines and, and uh, sequencer uh, and stuff. So it was a hard time for us in the beginning to realize how how to make this sound sounding the same and do it the right way. And uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. Still, uh, I'm 50 years old now. And, uh, Still influenced by Detroit music and Chicago music and New York house and the uh, started the label for Chigolo Records. 
Records in 96. My first production was called My Definition of House Music in 92. Uh, I worked with a dude called Puff Daddy in 2009. Uh, he did a song called The DJs and I used his vocals and he was talking about the DJs who played a uh, 20 minutes version of the song and, and the two kids were dancing in the after hours and all that stuff. So he really uh, get into working <laughs> about uh, the uh, house and techno community all, all, all about and I really respect him for that. So um, yeah, I went uh, all the way after more than 30 years of teaching, now sitting in Tokyo with lots of man talk about my little history. You know, so. Well, that's very impressive, man. You know, DJ Hill is a real good guy. I'm just now meeting him person to person for the very first time. The guy is really good. He, he knows his history. He's a great DJ. But I have to ask you one more question. Go ahead, go ahead. So, what do you think about today's music and the music scene today worldwide? I mean, I know about uh, Los Hermanos. <laughs> <laughs> the new album. Thank you, thank you. And I heard it the first time, and that's, that's the news of the day to me now. Yeah. DJ Hell, man, I really thank you and appreciate you for your time. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for your music and your career, man. Thank you. Thank you mean you. a lot to the techno global community. You mean a lot to me, brother. Thank you. It was really great meeting you for the first time today. And may this relationship continue. Please. All right, man, you have a safe flight back. Thank DJ you. Hell, everybody. Los Hermanos Network, and we up out of here. Peace.